friends welcome back to my channel for another studio vlog it's been a while since I did this type of video and I really enjoy editing this sort of thing although it takes a little bit more time than some of the other videos that I do but it's really fun and these are personally my favorite videos to watch I think I'm just going to be filming some of the things that I normally do on a Monday and I'll kind of explain to you how I plan for my week and my day and how I know exactly what I need to be working on. I do set up my week in my work planner. So this is a classic size happy planner and I um, use these weekly inserts. I actually designed these weekly inserts myself. But you can see here on my bookmark, I kind of marked with sticky notes how I actually like to set up my week. So the top box is for um, tasks for pattern design, surface design, projects. The middle box is everything that I need to do for my online shop as well as if I need to do any YouTube tasks. And then in the bottom section, this is where I will put in any appointments, any personal events, anything that would take me away from my work for the day. Um, just kind of having some of those things here is helpful. And then at the bottom space, if I have anything that's going to be posted that week to YouTube or my blog, I will write that in just so I can remember when it's gonna be posted. And then I like to do a daily planner page in my personal size planner. I will just move over those top tasks right here. And then I also will keep a running list of any personal tasks or things that I need to do after work. So those are kind of at the bottom. I will write them like from the bottom of the page up and then work tasks from the top of the page down. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. Um, I have my today page marker here and I went ahead and I set up the today and tomorrow. So I have, um, I'm using the paper test daily inserts. And I just print mine on um, Tomo River paper. They are just a digital printable. So I went ahead and I just set up for Monday and Tuesday. I've also printed out my March calendar freebie. I like to print those out on vellum. And I have those as a download in my shop. It's a freebie, so I'll link it below if you wanna get one for your devices or you can print it out like I did. So the first thing that I do is I always check my iCal, so I do pre-plan my work blocks and you can see like I just give myself simple large blocks of time and I do move them around as I you know as the day goes on and so um, I just have some big simple blocks here so I have like my administrative work is number one a order block if that takes more time or less time depending on how many orders I have I'll adjust that then we'll get into designing I'm also filming and then finally editing videos so we'll just see like you know how the day goes and I do drag and drop my blocks but that kind of gives me a um, outline for when I'm actually gonna get these tasks done I'm huge on time blocking just because honestly I didn't used to do it I would kind of just be task oriented and just do whatever the next thing was on the to-do list that I needed to do and sometimes that's what just what you need to do but since I started time blocking, and it probably was a couple of years ago that I did that, and grouping my similar tasks together, that I realized I actually could save a ton of time in the day and work a lot less and get more done in those time, you know, in those hours. So time blocking has been a lifesaver. Printing out the packing slips now. And I realized I don't have any more of the sticker samplers. I always like to put freebies in every order. I have these left, but these are from like last summer and they're kind of a 4th of July vibe. So um, I'm going to print more of the newest samplers and cut those before I start on orders. All right, so here are the samplers. Let's go ahead and send it to cut. Alright, 
samplers have been cut so I'm going to go ahead and start packing orders and I'm going to put on some music and just get it done. So I've packed all the orders, I printed out the shipping labels, um, and I just need to pack them into the envelopes. But right now I'm really hungry so I'm going to go get some lunch and then I'll come back and pack the envelopes. Alright, so I am back from lunch. I'm just going to prep some envelopes. Usually I have these ready ahead of time, but I ran out so I'm going to go ahead and stamp them. What I do is I just take my do not bend stamp. And I put that on every envelope. I also stamp my logo on, so I stamp it upside down like that. So that way when it's closed, you'll see the back of the envelope like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp all of these envelopes. Then I'll put the labels on and put the uh, match up the envelope with the orders. Okay, orders are done. I'm going to put them by my front door so I remember to take them out in the morning. And I'm gonna just throw away my trash and put away everything. Okay, you might have noticed these squares of patterns over here. I haven't explained this yet, so let me show you what's going on over here. So just on the back wall of my studio, I have this large piece of fabric pinned up. Basically, I am going to start selling fabric on Spoonflower pretty soon and so these are just my samples but um, I'm really excited I'm working on getting this up by the end of March so it's gonna be really cool you're gonna be able to just go straight to Spoonflower and you can order any patterns that I've designed on any kind of fabric they have lots of different types of fabric this is just cotton but they have a ton of different materials so if you are into sewing or if you have a shop where you sell any handmade things you'll be able to go and order fabric to use so I'm really excited about it I'm gonna start with fabric so that'll be the first thing that I'm gonna be offering and then I do actually have a couple of wallpaper designs that I'm gonna do so I will start out with a couple of those but um, I just thought the sample looked really cool, so I had to hang it up. I'm just going to keep it hung up in my office, I think, until um, whenever I get my next sample of batch of patterns, then I'll hang up a new one, but um, I just love how it looks. It's really fun. But let's go and check into my planner now. Um, I did pack orders, and I did emails, and I did YouTube comments. Okay, so it took me a little longer to finish orders and then um, designing is going to be the next thing. Again, I have a gap and we'll just see. I just want to make some progress on my designs. So I have a spreadsheet that um, I kind of is my working document for stickers. So um, I want to do some clear icon stickers. Okay, just to keep myself on track. I am going to make a quick sticky note list. This is the list of what I need to stay focused on and this is what I do. I do this all the time. Stick it on my lap, on my um, computer. That way while I'm designing there's no excuse for me to get off track or unfocused because I know exactly what I have to do. So I have my iPad and my pencil 
And I don't, I'm gonna go into Procreate. I don't normally use Procreate, to be honest. I usually design everything right in Illustrator. I'm going to start a new document. I'm just gonna do eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna import some stickers that I've already designed. I have a photo on my iPad of it. And I'm just gonna move these over here. And what I need to do is, I have these icon stickers that I have designed a while ago. And it's been so long since I designed these. I was looking for the original file and I couldn't find it. And I don't remember what Procreate brush I actually used to draw these little icons. I drew like TV, you know, birthday cake, some different functional icons. And the ones that I wanna to do today, I wanna to do a camera and I want to do a pencil icon. So I'm going to try and refer to these so I can match the same style and I don't know what procreate brush I used but we're just going to sort of do a trial and error and try to figure out either um, a similar brush or something we're gonna try to make it match in style Okay, I'm gonna try and draw them with the textured brush and then we'll see. Okay, so I am now going to just share this, airdrop this to my computer. Okay, so I have a blank document in Illustrator. I'm gonna drag in my file from Procreate, drop it in, and then we're going to image trace. I have a lot of image trace like presets, um, and I actually have one for hand-drawn icons. <laughs> then I'm just gonna group them together, and I'm gonna change the color. Instead of having the icons be black, I actually like to do just a dark gray. So now we're going to make a sticker sheet and I actually have a template for this. So we're going to go into sticker templates and I have a, st a template for a small sticker sheet page and this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to have to give this file a name which uh, let's see, I think, I think I'm at 10, yes, I'm at 102. So we're gonna call this CS102. That's just a skew. I give all my products a skew. I'm gonna go ahead and print one of the pencil file and then finish up and print the camera file. Okay, so I just printed out the pencil icons. They're really cute, super tiny and adorable. And then we have the cameras over here. Oh my gosh, so cute. They're so small, but I think they're just gonna be perfect. I can't wait to use them. I have this little paper shelf that I like to put things on. Um, I have samplers and then new releases will go here. All right, so let's take a look at the list again. So while I, the icon stickers were printing, I worked on the next thing, which is finding art for a new collection. And I actually quickly worked on a couple of patterns. So, um, I feel like that's good progress for the day. I probably will just continue and pick up where I left off tomorrow, but this is what I have so far as far as my mood board for new stickers. So I'm calling it like a fairy tale theme. I don't know what I'm gonna really call it, but um, for now it's fairy tale. So I have flowers, hot air balloon, some clouds and star print, and then those are the colors that I'm gonna be using. So that's pretty much it for today's studio vlog. I have checked off everything off of my list as far as work goes. The only thing left 
to do is just work on editing this video so I'm going to do that for the rest of the day. It's about 4 o'clock so I'll probably work on that for an hour or two and then call it a day. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog. Definitely leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite part and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see as far as my sticker shop or the work that I do. I'd be happy to share anything you want to see or answer any questions that you have so leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!